Welcome back. So in the previous video, we have prepared our data and now we are going to use it. First, we will create one item, one of these boxes, okay? And then I will show you how to repeat it in a very dynamic way. So let's jump in and do that. In our components folder, I will right click and choose a new file. Let's call it user link, okay, dot js. I will generate a new React Native pro, like uh, snippet. Okay, there we have it. And basically what I will do, I will go ahead and um, first of all, here we have a view, which uh, let's go ahead and analyze what we, what we wanna do. First, we, we need a wrapper for both of the icon and the text, right? So I'm talking about styles here. So we need a wrapper to the icon and the text and in this case we already have the view nice uh, we need a place to add the text well we have our text right here and the only part is missing it's to add the icon so let's go ahead and do that well which component should we use which component should we use right here don't ever think about it go ahead to export right here we can see we have a pre-built component that we can use it. Basically, we need to import the font awesome component from expo slash vector icons, which come again pre-installed, no need to install anything, and then we could use it. So let's go ahead and do that. Here up top, what I will do, I will say import, okay, something from, you need to type the package name exactly as I will show you add expo slash you need to make sure that you have typed add expo slash and then you will see the vector icons click on it oops not the bubble but the, sorry the vector icons okay so add expo slash vector icons and here we can import a lot of stuff for example end design we could import the material community icons we could import uh, like uh, the font awesome any any package but in this case since we have decided to use the font awesome 5 so let's go ahead and say font awesome 5 exactly and well now we can go back and see how we can use this component well basically we need the font awesome 5 component like so and we have to give it the name the size and the color so very easy we can copy this component instead of typing it and i will put it uh, before my text why is that because we are going to show the icon then the text so i will add it like so and basically now it's expecting from us to give it a name the size and the color for the size and color we can let's say write them right here so tomato for instance then the, the, the color Let's leave the size because I'm not sure what's the perfect size that we'll be using. Maybe you don't like the size that I have used right here. Okay, so we'll show you how to, how to customize that one. Now the question is, and by the way, let me give it a save. I will go back to my about page and show it below my text right here just to see that we are doing something. Use a link. It should be imported up top. Indeed, there we have it. I will give it a save and take a look on right here so nice we have our icon right here our linkedin icon so if i where is it if i change the name right here to something like uh, instagram we should see the instagram icon right here nice and we could change it to a lot of stuff for example if we if we copy the the the, the snapchat uh, snapchat snapchat icon i will give it a save right here we, we should be able to see it right here nice so if I change the size to be something really big, we should be able to see it right here. And the color as well, if I make it like dark gray, nice. And you can see how customizable this, this is really, really nice. But uh, by the way, the text, we could add it right here. For example, my um, Snapchat or whatever. Okay. We can see it right here with a little bit of style we are going to make it looks like this but the question is the, the, the question is is this really customizable for now like we are passing the name right here statically there there is no way for us to dynamically render uh, 
multiple items that's the, the don't worry about this one we are going to show you how to render multiple uh, instance of this component with different content with different name with different uh, a lot of stuff but for the time being let's stick with it okay so i will just change it back like so and i will jump over to the style let's think about a style for a second the only thing that we need to do for the time being is to put them side by side with a little bit of margin or sorry a little bit of space between them so i will give this one uh, let's go ahead and give it a style to the parent i will say it's styles dot parent okay or you can call it rubber or whatever here for the text i will say because i don't want to mess up with the styles for this one so we could add it right here so styles dot mm, let's call it user or let's call it text why not so again we have two bars that we want to style i will go ahead by the way these one are not exist so let's go ahead and create them so parent should be an object oops and also we have text nice and simple so basically the the the, the style right here we want to put them side by side the icon and text what i can do i could say well flex direction to be wrong okay that will put them side by side but we can see we have the text right here is not uh, they are not uh, in, in the same line but that could be different for different icons just just to give you the idea i, I don't want to just code the stuff and show you this thing right here could be different for a lot of icons in this case maybe it's not for example i change the icon to be different icon let's say i'm not sure this is gonna work but let's go ahead and try the youtube one you can see right here but if there is a it's a still we still have a problem why is that because these icons they 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 let's say they have enough space enough height to show us the problem but if you have a small icon or an icon that has a specific height this this is will not be a problem just keep that one in mind and hopefully uh, when we are going to use all the icons hopefully i'm gonna uh, be able to show you the the let's say the problem but for the time being let's style it as we wish i will get back to the snapchat one and basically in order for us to put them in this oh i need to give it a save in order for us to give them uh, put them in the same line we could use flexbox okay like for example uh, we can use align items or we can use yeah the align items will go ahead and give it a, a center like like so as you can see it let me show you the difference because maybe you didn't notice so we can see the text is here on top like they are not in the, in the same line align i align items will go ahead and put it in the center per perfectly now i will i think that, that that's pretty much it for the let's say for the parent let's go ahead and style the text a little bit the first thing that you have noticed is we have a space between the icon and the text i will give it a margin left so the margin left right here now depending on your need maybe you don't like my percentage my value feel free to give it any value that you want okay it's, it's not a problem Another thing that we need to increase is the size. So here I have used 25. So I will use 25 right here. So font size should be 25. Okay, and if we take a look now, our font is a little bit bigger. Maybe you will like it, maybe not. That's, that's actually, uh, feel free to add your own values. The color, I will just use the tomato, okay? like so and by the way for the color for the icon also should be because this is what i am planning to add and of course you maybe notice that the icon is 100 percent a little bit bigger so let me we have used 30 right here for the value so i will use 30. so the size here should be 30 okay and there we have it uh, by the way i have noticed that the color here is black it's not uh, it's not tomato so we don't we, we don't need to add this one or let's make it dark gray okay there we have it and uh, by the way you could use any text that you want so as you can see ladies and gentlemen in this video we have showed you how you can um, let's say build this component and install it of course it's still not um, it's still not perfect 
But before we end this video, I will show you how to customize it. Now, if you take a look on this component right here, this list right here, we are rendering an icon and a text, but with different content. We are rendering the exact same item with the exact same structure, but with different content. The, the perfect answer for this, we can solve it via props. So instead of passing the name statically, we could get it as a props. That's pretty much the solution. So what I will do, I will take out this, the name of the icon right here, and I will receive it as a props. So the same thing for, for the text. Here we are gonna say it should be coming as a props. And basically I will destructure them right here. We could say the name and the text. That's, that's it. Now, of course, if you give it a save, nothing will happen because here now we need to give it a props to our user link component. So I will say the text should be, um, let's say my underscore username. Okay, and for the name, or by the way, you could use icon name or any type of props, but in this case, name will do just fine. I will paste back my snapchat like so if we go back we can see it right here now the interesting part if i duplicate this dude okay and i change this icon right here to be linkedin i will give it a save we can see the linkedin icon this is the exact thing uh, like thing that i want to re receive or achieve let's say uh, now in the next video we are going to show you how to render these values dynamically using like some sort of an array uh, um, an array view or you can call it whatever you want but in order like some sort of list we are going to show you how to use lists in order for us to render as many items as you want from this of course we are going to finish the style in the next video hopefully that makes sense thank you my friends so much for watching see you in another one